Hey guys, Karak Sid here with another video. This time this will be the first of my Wizard Ring updates. These are simil going to be similar to my actual Twitch updates, but of course for Wizard Rings. So this will be my way of showing you guys the Wizard Rings that are not sold in packs or included with other toys in the Wizard toy line. So I held off on this for a little bit because I already had a few when I back when I well. I actually got a couple of these during my trip to Japan. I had one of these prior to even having the Wizard Driver. And I kind of held off on this until I felt I had enough of these to warrant a decent sized video. So, of note is that these are going to be all magic rings. As they're making sure that all transformation rings get released in deluxe form. So, uh, we'll take a look at these individually and show them off with the Wizard Driver. So, we'll go from left to right. First up is the big Wizard Ring. So, uh, this one was the first Wizard Ring to be released and was released with the Fusion Switch special set from the Forza movie as a way to entice you to buy the wizard driver and start collecting wizard rings. So, unlike these others, this has a silver top and bottom. So, for the pattern, it's got a lot of it covered. You have this small silver dragon head here, and then a larger version of it outlined in silver, with various contour lines for detail as well as a silver painted eye. So, please I'm going to show the ring and then show it with the driver and then move on to the next one. So while that sound is mostly original, the end part is actually taken from the limit break sound of the Bodies and Sword. However, from what I can tell, this is the only wizard ring that has part of its sound borrowed from another toy. So the big ring is one that wizard uses fairly often. It lets him enlarge one of his limbs to gigantic size, which can let, allow him to smack enemies or swing them around or you know, since his fist is so big, he has no problem punching them and not worrying about damaging his ring. And he's also used this with the wizard sword gun to greatly enlarge the size of the sword mode's blade. Next is the fen ring. So for this one, you have a dragon holding up a shield. And of course, it's one of those kind of medieval style shields. And again, it has some nice contour lines to it. So you had a kind of a crashing sound or a crumbling sound or kind of a sound of something being formed and so the defend ring is pretty clear what it does it creates a shield for, for, for wizard and this is actually the first example of a ring that changes effect based on which style a wizard is using though so far he's only used it in land and flame style in land style it creates a sand wall that rises out of the ground and in flame style, it creates a dome of heat that acts as a all-around shield. Next is the defend ring, and this one is this one is one that stands out because it doesn't have a dragon design. Rather, this is designed like wizard symbol with these various fasteners 
on a gemstone to give it a face-like appearance. And this has various angles to it to give it some nice reflective detail. So you had a kind of a holy sound and the sound of something like a portal opening up. So the engagement ring is interesting in that this isn't one that Wizard uses on himself. Rather, this is one that he always uses on somebody else. Because this isn't a combat spell. Rather, this is something he uses for emergencies. As this actually is something he is rather unique. Basically, he gives this to a person and then has that person use on the belt, and that allows was to enter that person's underworld, which is a place in their mind where their deepest, most precious memory lies. And he does that to prevent them from falling to despair, because in the show, what his enemies, the Phantoms, do is they try to make people fall to despair by destroying what they hold most dear, and doing so causes that person, if they fully fall to despair, to die and become a phantom. So a wizard uses an engage ring on them when they're starting to fall to despair. That way he can destroy the phantom within them and prevent them from dying. Next is bind. Actually, I forgot to show off the ring itself. So, yeah, just get a close look at it first. So, for this one, you have the same head that's used for the Thunder, Blizzard, and Gravity rings. Although, this time you don't have the dragon wings. Instead, the rest of it is covered by these three chain segments. And so they cross each other, and you can see that it's molded so that you can see each individual chain link, which looks quite nice. So now it shows the sound. So that you had constricting, kind of a squeezing sound to it. And so the bind ring, as it, well, as the look of the ring would suggest, forms chains to bind his opponent, and he even change them. He can use enough chains to chain them to the ground and hold them in place. And finally, is the light ring. So this one, you have a dragon's head and you have this kind of weird star twinkle and it's kind of supposed to be like a glint in its eye which is also kind of a thing that is kind of taken from anime So there you had a sound of something shining. And so light ring creates a blinding flash that can illuminate any area that wizard is in. So there you have these. So aside from the big ring, these four all came from either a Kenny toy release or from a Gadgetpon capsule. And these aren't exactly necessary rings or essentials. 
Arguably, Big is because it is one of the rings that Wizard uses most often, along with stuff like Connect and Copy. But for the others, not so much. Binds has been used a couple of times, Light hasn't been used much. And Defend is one of the rings he uses more often as land style. And as for Engage, as I explained, this isn't one that exact. This isn't exactly one that Wizard actually uses himself. So whether or not you get these is up to you. But of course, since these are from Gen Toy slash Gaspon, these should go for pretty cheap. So if you can find them, it won't be too hard to find them at a good price. So whether or not you get them is up to you. But and I'm going to make this quite clear, there is something important to note. Do not buy a wizard ring if you see the listing for it with the words value line. Because for the wizard rings this year, Bandai decided to do something interesting. Basically, for the Gaspon lines, they created two. One, which is the kind that you see here. Which has, which while they have an unpainted bottom half, they do still have a light in them. And then the second is what's called the 300 yen value line. Basically, irregular Gajapon rings are sold for 400 yen, and then there's a value line that sells for 300 yen. And this is, of course, regarding the price that you get them from a Gajapon machine in Japan. And so the reason why I'm telling you to avoid the value line is because what makes the value line a value line is that while it still has the appearance, it still has the top half painted silver and not the bottom half, the value line rings have no light in them. And really what makes wizard rings so nice is that you get light from when you hold them over the scanner and then it will you know so you have a light both while you're putting on that scanner and then after you remove it and so even if there's a ring that you see and one that doesn't seem to be too easy to find in radio gadgetpon or candy toy do not buy it if it's from the value line. Because if it isn't released in the regular stuff, it eventually will be. So we just, for that, in that case, just kind of wait out and try to get in regular Gashbon or Candy Toy form. And also of note is that if it kind of bothers you that the that these single release rings have an unpaid bomb half something you can do is that if there's a deluxe ring you don't care too much about what you can do is you can take the bomb half you know open this up separate the two halves and then switch it, switch them around since they all have a universal shape to them And of note is that this year not too many rings are being delegated to being candy toy or gadgetpon only. So I won't be doing t too many of these and I won't be doing quite as many as I did with Astro Switch updates. So just keep that in mind, but there is also a second kind of ring that is only released in candy toy and gadgetpon form that I will also be covering this year. And you'll see what that is in the next video. So, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and check out my channel for more videos. And for now, this is KRX50, riding off.